Okay. Hey, just caught a good one. Let's let's put it in the live well and okay. talk about how you Get did it. Off of here. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Right. I'm Tim Huffman. We have a media event going on in Elmore County, Catfish and Crappie, and I'm with Gerald Overstreet. He uses a drop shot rig from time to time. We're going to let him explain. First of all, what is it and how do you tie it? Okay. What I've got here, the way I rig my drop shot rig, um, number one, I use anywhere 10 to 12 pound test line most of the time. And this is the, uh, the Gamma clear line. And I take a three-way swivel, tie it on my main line. You can see that right here. And then I use a, a short drop leader. One thing you do, if, if you get your drop leader too long, your minnow, if you're fishing with a minnow down in thick brush, it'll stay tangled up. So I, that's about a five inch drop leader. And that is a uh, number one, one out wire hook, usually works good. And the fish, if you're seeing fish on your electronics, it's according to the depth that they're off of the bottom, as to how long you make your dropper to your weight. And what I like to do once I tie my line coming to my weight is tie a loop knot on the end and then what I can do just say we're fishing in the river and the current gets up we can shove this loop knot a loose unhitch the weight and change the weights out the weights off just that simple and what we can, sizes do you often use uh, a standard go-to is a three-quarter ounce that's what this is here is three-quarter ounce we'll go down to a half sometimes we don't have much current or if we fish in a little stronger current we'll use a one ounce in, in stronger current and if the fish are real close to the bottom, you can cut this leader down here to about a foot, 16 inches. And if they're up pretty high, we sometimes we fish this leader three foot long to keep our bait, say three feet up off of the bottom, just above the fish. Because with crappie, you want that bait to stay above them and not get below them. Do you use the sinker? just to fill the bottom and then raise it up or do you leave the sinker on bottom? So Most of the time we bump the bottom to get it down and I like to move my sinker up where I have a little more sensitivity and feel on the pole, get, get the sinker just barely off of the bottom, just a few inches so where you can feel a really light bite. And this rod here, this B&M crappie wizard rod, it's a seven and a half foot rod. It's IM7 graphite with a cork handle. I mean, it's really sensitive and it's got plenty of backbone to bring those fish out. I really like this rod for, uh, we do some casting with it, slip cork fishing and drop shotting. That's my go-to rod. If y'all are fishing, fish are down low, try the drop shot rig. You can, you works in open, open water, right in cover. You can get it down in there. Thank you, Gerald. Okay, thank you.